Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzer and of course welcome back to another day and another episode of the 100% walkthrough for of course Lego Batman and today we move on to the fifth and final uh, mission in the power crazed penguin set of missions so without further ado let's get a rolling and that is of course the penguins a lair now of course go back and check out all the previous episodes all four in the penguins uh, a set of episodes I guess and uh, also of course the Riddler set of episodes because we've already covered all of those so pretty gosh darn cool in the video by the way thank you guys so much for the support on the previous few episodes I know a lot of people are like why do you thank us all the time because I feel like I owe uh, any and every uh, type of attention that we receive here on the YouTube channel uh, for Blitzwinger to you guys so that's why I have to thank you every single time I can so uh, let's get a little bit of a read up on this little mission. Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot, aka the Penguin, is a devious crime boss who's seldom seen without uh, one of his tricky or trick, sorry, umbrellas. He can use an umbrella to glide and keep penguin bombers under his hat, which can be dispatched at will. I still don't know how he does that, uh, but of course, as I always say, this is going to be much more focused on. Um, uh, the mission here, so I just forgot where the first carrot was. Uh, and you saw going into this challenge, uh, how many kisses we have? We already have four, so I'm going to try to point out all of those and try to keep those in mind as well. So we've got four right now, and let's hope we can. Uh, I can showcase to you which ones those are. So we've got uh, a carrot right here. Uh, then we're going to need to use Batman to smash and bash this. Which takes quite a while, but the cool thing is that you get a ton of studs from all this, which is pretty awesome. Um, this is not still this is still not fully broken, oddly enough. Okay, this is weird. This is supposed to break more. Okay, that is really weird. Because there's a mini kit down there that I need to grab. Okay, let me attack this guy. Maybe I don't know. Whoops, a daisy. Here comes another dude. There we go. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so then you switch to uh, Robin and you grab yourself a mini kit, which is pretty gosh darn coolio indeed. Next up, we are gonna need the assistance of Mr. Freeze. Down. Whoops. Okay, that did not work as I wanted it to. Okay, so I guess. There we go. Perfect. Now, the one thing that I always found funny about this particular um, uh, thing here uh, was that. Um, you would think that, uh, like in this spot, using a bomb would be kind of bad, but uh, it doesn't blow off the ice. It blows up giant metal, but it doesn't even hinder the ice in any way, shape, or form. I always found that to be a little funny. Just like, how does the ice not get destroyed from such a ginormous explosion? Wouldn't that destroy the ice as well? Okay, so next up, uh, we're going to need a character that can double jump. So Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Mad Hatter, any one of those uh, would work just fine. Then... You obviously want to try to get this mini kit. I am currently failing at doing so. Okay, these guys are annoying. There we go. Okay, that was much better. Come on. Wait. There we go. Perfect. So again, the double jump is very, very helpful there. And uh, we don't need to concern ourselves with uh, that little pump-up machine. But what we do need to concern ourselves with is these little seeds. Because we need to plant a second, of course... Um, uh, what is it called? Goodness gracious. A second carrot. Because we had our first one over there, now we've got two. So we're doing pretty gosh darn well indeed. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna try to hop on up. Across. Perfect. Now, don't go in there yet. Uh, here's your citizen in Pearl. Being captured by penguins, of course. The most... Uh, he must be really apologetic, apologetic about that. Like, to be captured by penguins, he's like, Oh god, how did I allow myself to get this low? <laughs> But there's your third carrot, which of course, as you saw, we only got a blue uh, stud for that because we already had that um, unlocked before. Now, for this little section here, you're going to need... Um, uh, honestly, I think Gliding Batman is probably the easiest character to do this with. So all you do is just uh, glide over here, and this would be this little blue stud that you saw there. is actually going to be a mini kit. So once you've got that, uh, you're good to go. And that's all. Then you progress to the next le uh, little area here. And there's the Penguin and Catwoman, so it's a pretty short stage, uh, really kind of gets you right away into the boss fight relatively quickly, to be honest, so, uh, yeah, same goes for you. 
So here we go, he's gonna go ahead and activate these turbines so that they can power up his crazy manipulator machine to power up his penguin army. Uh, so, let's see, well, first of all, I guess I should take care of that guy because he was gonna come at us no matter what. Take care of this dude as well. And then we will call upon... Well, first of all, let's beat up Catwoman a little since she's gonna be bothersome. Uh, you need Penguin for this, you can't use Batman because you can't obviously walk on that gook. So, uh... It might take a couple of tries, but just kind of guide the penguin and then blow him up once he's close to that little uh, patch of land. And then, of course, you need a character that can walk on the green gook. So someone like Poison Ivy, for example, or even, for example, right here, Mr. Freeze. Um, I would prefer Poison Ivy because then you need to drop on down here, actually. Do a couple of double jump tricks. This will be a mini kit as well, so uh, that would bring your total to already eight. So you only need two more. Here's mini kit number nine. Which means that, of course, only one more... Oh, sorry, no. This would be Minikit 8, because number 9 is actually... Let me show you where it is. So, I'm just gonna blow up all these real quick. And once you blow these up, that's when you can actually access uh, Minikit number 8. And the way that you go about doing that is actually... Uh, if you've got... Sorry. If you've got a shooting character... Goodness gracious, okay. I am failing at this because I'm being attacked by everything that is alive at this point. Okay, so I'm just gonna punch uh, Penguin a couple of times. And basically, you gotta destroy all four of these little turbines here. There's one, two, and of course, number three. Well, I don't have enough distance there. Okay, I gotta punch Penguin a little more. Because he's not gonna give up, is he? Okay, so I'm gonna just tag those two. And there you go. So once you do that, you see that little blue stud that appeared? That's where you would get your mini kit number eight. Because we went into this challenge with already a few of our mini kits. I think four of them unlocked. That's why uh, we have to... Uh, obviously, I can't get the mini kit itself. So right here, it would be. All right, so I'm just going to punch this guy a little bit. So he just kind of lays off of us. And then you need actually a Sonic suit, Batman. God, these guys are annoying as all heck. I swear. Just the most annoying creatures of these guys. There we go. So then you gotta bash this little thing, and you enter this area. So here you've got, of course, a couple of things. First of all, we need one more mini kit, and if you haven't forgotten, we still need a red power brick. So we need to take care of that as well. So first off, let's take care of the mini kit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the heat suit Batman. And once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and assemble this deliciously hot mini kit. Served up hot, nice and ready for you, and that will be your final mini kit. Now, as far as the red power brick, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just hold on to this, let it fall all the way down because you wanna get these penguins out here, and then you gotta jump onto this treadmill, onto the third treadmill here, and you just run on it. Uh, once you see the three green lights appear, whoops, okay. That was my part. My bad. So you just kind of run on this treadmill. There we go. And once all, uh, basically all three of them have three green lights, that's when getting a pond here. Sorry. There we go. Will allow you to appear the red power brick. Which is pretty gosh darn cool. And then of course after that, all you have to do is once you're in free play, press the start button. Sorry. Go into the Batcave, press save and exit, and you're done. You got yourself a 100% completion rate on the Penguin's Lair. We unlocked ourselves the red power brick for bats, which is pretty gosh darn cool in video. Our star total increased by an additional 20,000 points. Pretty gosh darn cool. Very, very nice. And of course, look at our mini kit. Let's see what we've assembled now. Yay, it's two little penguins who look adorable. Well, up until the point where they got guns. And now they got blown up. I guess animal cruelty is not considered when it's a Lego form. But nonetheless, guys, there you have it, of course. That concludes another episode of Lego Batman. Definitely a quickie. I just looked at the time. We even got under 10 minutes, which is pretty gosh darn crazy uh, to think about that. But nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and like the video. Share the video with your family and friends. Favorite the video. Those are all terrific ways to show support for the series and to show that you guys want to see more episodes. In fact... Tune in tomorrow to, of course, check out the first episode of The Joker's Return, which should be really, really exciting and really fun as well. So tune in for that, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.